What is up everyone? Welcome back to another ultimate career mode and we are ready to go and get away from good old South Boston because of how we went last time. It, it was a struggle, I will say that. Today we're going to be heading up to Connecticut for the good old track everybody knows if you're a modified fan and that is Stafford Motor Speedway. Very excited to try this out with the AI. We're going to go ahead and get hopped in the truck like that. Fire this puppy up, go get some fuel and head our way up to Connecticut. All right, filled up. Now we're ready, officially, <laughs> son of a gun, to get on our way to Coneta Cat. I knew it. It's okay. I ain't waiting on traffic and I don't have that track our stuff. That stuff is the bee's knees right there. You look all over the place. And, and don't have to worry about the mouse or nothing. It's great, but I ain't got it. So I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> I'm not stopping at a way station. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. All right. I'm a pickup truck, not a tractor trailer. What a steep hill. <laughs> Holy cow, what a steep hill. What kind, of, what kind of nonsense is this? Oh, coast to coast, I swear. I have never seen like an exit ramp with a hill that steep. <laughs> I was in a tractor trailer. Look at them. Did you? Look at that! Look how steep that is! <laughs> and you're gonna pull out in front of me! You little turd! Just because I'm a dying ram don't mean you can do stuff like that, you piece of junk! Get out of the room! Get out of the room! We'll put the hammer down and see you later! Rebel boys! Elbows up, we ain't taking no crap today! As we're driving through, we're going to be in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina here in just a few minutes. And as we're driving, I'm going to discuss the financials from last week at South Boston. It's all I can say. I mean, the racing was not the greatest. I, at least it wasn't what I was expecting. And it just kind of surprised me how the AI raced there with the SKs. When I raced there with the Tours in my Tour Modified AI season, it was some great racing. So I thought, okay, going into it, it's going to be pretty good. Didn't end out very well. I think we finished 19, gained a few grand or something. I don't have the sheet pulled up, but as you can see on this screen, that's what we finished there and how much money we've made off of that. However, we did have a big expense, obviously, with the uh, car, so like I mentioned in that video. But uh, this video, we don't have any expenses going in other than the racing cost of this specific race. The balance that we end up having with all the income and expenses and everything taken out is uh, $28,173. So, I mean, we gained a little bit, I think. Not major or crazy or anything. And I'm hoping here at Stafford, we'll have a good race and it'll be very, very good. I also mentioned in the last video that I was going to look into sponsors probably in this episode. However, I got to thinking, it's like, we don't have a computer or, or anything other than a phone to look up details on sponsors. So we're going to wait to get back to the shop so we can paint the car, put the decals on it and do all that stuff to be more realistic to the series. Cause I can't just pop a scheme on the car where we're out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll do that. And after I believe this race, I believe this race is when the chassis and the body needs to get repaired. I want to get a sponsor on the car. So we're going to prioritize that, head back to the shop after Stafford and go from there. Let's go. Let's put the hammer down, North Carolina. First to flight. But you're lashed to the gas. Come on, Bobby. Look at that. Get up. Hey, 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 hey. I had my signal on. This is Connecticut, y'all. This looks so good. Flat, very, very tall trees, three lane roads that are smooth. Man, this state is awesome in coast to coast. Absolutely wonderful. The detail is by par, nothing compared to Texas DLC, man, I tell you. Right here is Connecticut, best state ever. Stanford Motor Speedway, here we are. We finally arrived 500 and some miles later. We crossed, what is it with this lane change and this? We are here at Stanford. Get this sucker unloaded and get on track and hopefully do pretty good at Stanford today. Let's get to it. I see you guys strapped in. Let's get on with it. All right, just keep the car in one simple, lovely piece to take back to the shop and be in one piece. That's all we got to do, all right? I know it's 100 laps, but you know, we can do so. Uh, 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 outside line, I don't know what's going to happen here. The AI surprises me with every race, I tell you. First gear, 14th place starting spot. I think we're going on. Yep, we're going. Oh, maybe not. 
Come on, let's go. Oh, he hit the wall. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I don't know what we're doing here. All right, come on. Cold tires. Thing really rotates good with cold tires. Clear low, though. Very nice. Let's see if we can gain some spots here with the fresh goodies. Oh, we got to run on the inside. Let's go. Oh, man, drifts up. That's Stafford for you. It is always tight right there on the entry of one and two. Car wants to drift up all the time. And then three and four, you try to hug the white line the best you can. <laughs> oh, this track's so good, though. I love it here. Come on. Oh, gosh. You just can't overdrive the corner. Okay. It's it's normal for it to drift up. Yes. But overdriving it, too, is a thing. But you almost have to with, these, with this car. Look at this. We got to run maybe on the 13th. We're up to 13th. Fifth, no, down to 15th. Okay. We lost a spot. I thought we were in 13th, but heck, we're doing pretty good. Much better than South Boston. <laughs> I can tell you that. Oh, man. I had to do a lot of adjustments to this car. Oh, we got to run. Let's go. I like it. Had to do a lot of adjustments, a lot of work on the front end to help it, you know, more stable, but more rotation on entry. It felt like it was and what doing good anything good oh man we got a good run here we gaining spots I like it using the apron on entry there we go hard on the gas on the exit got clear we're in 13th now boys holy cow let's go we got to finish good we got to get some cash flow going in this is a money race big money race we got to do good there we go. Shoot. Got a little loose. The apron, apron in this car with this setup, I've, you know, randomly tweaked and everything makes it really loose. Although I would have thought it'd be tight, but what do I know? I just tweak things till it rides good, <laughs> pretty much. However, check out that run right there off of two. Let's go. Hugging that white line. Making it hug really good. Here we go. Run. Looking inside of good old Chris, oh, who is that? Chris Price. All right. Using the apron on entry, it's going to get loose. It's not the ideal line, but made it work. All right, up to 12th. I like it, man. Looking good. Leaders have checked out, though. They're already entering one. <laughs> I knew that. 10 laps in, though. Very good racing. Ooh. Did I just see contact or no? Am I just seeing things? I don't know. <laughs> Red and white making a move. Completing the pass. A really good run off of four. We're making gains for once. This is such a refreshing race versus last week at South Boston. Oh my gosh. I just don't want to be on defense 24 7. You know, I don't mind guys getting runs. I don't mind that one bit. Oh. But, man, when you're, like, blocking 99% of the race, it's no fun. And you're making no gains at all. I will say this. I will disclose this because I don't want to be uh, non-transparent about it. But I did do make some changes to the AI in the settings. Like, I, there was a setting called smoothness and a sm setting called optimism. I changed a bunch of that way down to a lower level for these guys to make them where they get loose they have, might have tire wear, stuff like that. They may be quick. They may be really good. And, they're, you know, the good guys will prevail, you know. Makes it fair, you know. I think that's what was the problem last week at South Boston. So I made some major adjustments to that. I know it's mid-season kind of, but I wanted to trial and error it in a way. See how the racing does. I know it varies track to track. As we're seeing here, racing's doing really good. And I, I'm enjoying this. You know, anybody loves being on offense, you know. And I really don't mind if I'm, like, by myself for a spot. But I don't want to be blocking 20 guys, like I said a little bit ago. So if they're making mistakes, you know, having problems with their tires, I mean, that's on them. I mean, you can see I'm getting good runs. Throwing it in the corner. All right, there we go. Look at there. 
Up to what? Eighth position. <laughs> Got a car outside. Oh gosh. The O3 of Michael Bowman made a dive bomb move, but now he's getting past Christian Pittman. Now Christian Pittman, I've watched him in my mirror. He has been passing cars along with me. I expect him to be catching up here any minute. So we'll we'll see what he can do. He's been a really good late runner in this race, it seems. This is a lot better in South Boston by a miles. And so I'm definitely taking this race for granted right now. Or unless, what's the word I'm gonna look for? I am definitely appreciating this race right now <laughs> over anything that we've done so far. Well, we're catching them. <laughs> this is great. I don't know, man. If there ain't a lap card, we're just running out of leaders. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> Because we're not racing side by side. They can't get clear of themselves, so. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're gaining like. We gained like three seconds now to a second. I like it. I like it, man. This is looking good. Oh, man. Did the guy make a mistake up there? Is that the. Is that the 43 Gregory Hill? Yeah, buddy, make a mistake. It was on the bottom now up to the top. I guess he got loose. Oh, gosh. I jinxed it. Call myself loose, then. <laughs> All right, we're still good. We're still good. All right, rack them up, come on. We're gonna run these boys down. We got, I was running down JB right there. I gained uh, about a couple tenths. Running pretty consistent lap times, but now we got some hard racing going on. I don't know how this is gonna go about. Oh gosh, he makes a mistake. Whoa, we we're looking to the inside. You're inside, three wide. Actually using, oh gosh, did we make contact? Oh, still door to door. Clear outside. outside. At the clutch, and I think we're not going to make it on fuel. Clear outside. Outside. 52 laps to go on my tank with 59 laps left in the race. Unless we have a caution. Oh boy, this is gonna get good. Learn how to save fuel effectively and be quick. Oh, oh, the leaders! <laughs> that 43 car worked his way back up to the lead. I don't know how. <laughs> this is gonna get good. Oh man, we're looking good on fuel too. Oh my gosh, they're still getting loose. Their tires are wearing out. Oh, man, this is the kind of thing I wanted to see. Oh! What the did world did that guy just do? He cut down on him and almost shot up the track. We might have a caution here soon, guys. I'm pretty sure. There's got to be a caution somewhere here. Shortly. Oh, gosh, there's some pitters. There's pitting. Matt Mueller's pitting. Oh, it's going to be good, boys. Can we win on fuel strategy at short track, Stafford? Normally, it's not the case. But seeing where things are going, unless a caution comes out. I don't know. We're going to see. Yeah, we're going to lose some spots, but all in the source of saving fuel. Of course, we're on the outside. Doesn't help. Well, Christian Pittman's falling back. He was right behind me, I thought. So maybe he's saving. I don't know. Oh. oh my goodness, are we actually going to be enough on fuel? <laughs> hard to believe, hard to believe. I can't believe it. Okay, we're 10th spot. So, not bad considering the season we've had so far starting out. Not even in the top 15 in either of my races. So, if Stafford can be a like a huge rebound, oh man, I'd love it. All right, I think we're good on fuel, guys. I really think so. <laughs> Whoa! Because it says 41 laps to go on my estimated with 40 to go. I think we got it. <laughs> oh, my gosh! My fuel saving strategy didn't work. No, oh, and they're wrecked coming off of four. 
Oh no, and they were lap cars. Oh my gosh, does that change everything? Wow, this is the coming of great Stafford race. Now, hold on a minute. I don't know what's about to happen with these lap cars here or leaders, whatever they're doing. I, I have no idea. They just lost their spots. However, we've got to pay for fuel or do we? It's the mid question. I don't need to technically at this point, but my tires though, that's the big deal. So let's rack them up. See you guys on track. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. They tried to pit and they couldn't. Oh no. Are they all going to be like a lap down because none of them could pit? Really? They couldn't figure out how to pit? I mean, that just ruined the entire race. All right, so we have a little bit of a predicament. So the leaders went to pit, and for some reason, I don't know why, they all stacked up going on the entrance. And I, I couldn't tell you why. It just completely crapped out. I didn't want to have to do this race again, so I waited till they got all on track, waved them all around. They put me as the leader, but I got older tires, I hope, and I'm slower. So we're just going to fall back and, you know, do whatever. But we got enough to make it to the end. Uh, this was not my doing, but here we go. We're going to get going. Fire it all again. I kind of hope we don't get the win over this, but we'll see. We'll see. I doubt it. We're just going to try. Race this thing hard. Definitely got enough to make it to the end, though. That, that, that war has been deal, sealed and dealed. But uh, right now, we're holding the lead. I don't know. I really don't feel good if I get the win here because they all pitted. It completely bugged out. Like they would not go and they, had, they all reset it. I think like everybody but Matt Hewer, the one who pitted earlier in the race, did not have that issue. So I don't know what to say. It's just stupid on their end. But we are the leader. Still 0.5 second lead. I don't know. We'll see if the fast guys get up here. We got 13, 14 to go. Old Ricky made a run. He's getting some runs. We will see. We will see. Hopefully they got enough to make it too. They should. I mean, we we paced for like an extra four or five laps. I mean, we are smoking them right now, dude. With no problem whatsoever, my friend. <laughs> now that we got pace, the fact that we were saving tires, I guess you could say too. We weren't really, oh gosh, we weren't really pushing the car a whole lot. Oh gosh, more cars are pitting. Oh no, is that good? Oh no, I gotta go to the top. All the leaders, all the leaders are behind me. <laughs> he checked up, got loose or something. Oh, Bert Myers, Joey are a lap down behind me. The leaders are not getting around them very well. Do I go for it? I kind of do. I kind of want the cash. Kind of want the win. Wasn't my doing. I promise. I just don't, I don't know why Stafford, they can't get around the pit lane at Stafford. I mean, it's a completely easy pit entry. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you what, all right? I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. I really cannot win a race like this. All right, this is this was screwed up. I should be like, I don't know, eighth, seventh or eighth wall there. So I'm gonna take advantage of the mistakes, but I'm gonna let old Brandon White get himself a W because it ain't fair to me, I don't think. Y'all might think different, but I'm going to let him take the win with two to go coming up and uh, go from there. I want to be able to get a win or a good finish from hard, good strategy, and good race. I don't want to get one from a fluke by the AI. So we're going to just let him go, get his W. One lap to go. Here at Stafford Motor Speedway. I will have to say though, it's been some very good racing. The changes I've made to the AI to make them racy and you know unpredictable a little bit has definitely helped. You know, I'm able to keep up with them. Now, granted, it could be Stafford, but who knows? But anyway, come out of the turn four with a P2 finish. Who would have thunk that? Not me for sure. Starting 14th, I will definitely take this finish any day of the week. Definitely wasn't earned, though, I don't think, with the AI messing up like they did, but they just all stopped right here. I, I couldn't tell you why. It's so weird. But I'll take P2. 
Let's go. And we'll pull this thing into the bay. We'll get this sucker loaded up and head our way back to the shop, look at sponsors, and fix this thing up for our next race, which I believe is at New Hampshire. So let's get her packed up. Let's get on to the next one. <laughs>